Hi guys, it's Liddell here with you again today and I've got some um, uh, jelly plate prints that I'm going to show you with the new textures and dazzlers and uh, they are amazing, I absolutely adore them and they work perfectly with the jelly plate so um, I will show you how I do that. I actually like using these more than I like using just the normal acrylic paint paints that I have used before. So um, they just have a really smooth beautiful texture and even the textured ones, the textures work really nicely on here because the brayer brings up the texture and in the end you've got a brayer that is full of little gritty bits um, and uh, you just wipe them off but it, it kind of picks it up off the jelly plate. It doesn't damage your jelly plate, you wouldn't want to press too hard but uh, they work just as nicely as the others and leave a little bit of texture in your print as well so I'm absolutely stoked and I am going to show you okay so I will just create a way here and I'll put it on fast forward and um, you can see how they work and what what happens and uh, and hopefully you'll be able to go and buy some of your own and uh, have a play because they are absolutely phenomenal I love them okay here we go I have got some different mediums that I'm going to work on. This one's got a slight gloss to one side. It's just a shiny side and a dull side. It's just card. Uh, this is just normal, normal cardstock, but uh, just a lightweight cardstock. This is a little bit of a heavier cardstock, similar to the other one. Glossy side on one side and a bit more um, textured on the other side. This is uh, handmade paper that uh, is really nice. I thought I'd try some of that. Um, I thought I'd do some on an envelope just to see how that goes and uh, the other thing I wouldn't mind trying is on a transparency. So like I said I'll speed it up and I will um, create a way and you can watch and, and see how well they work. Um, I'll also just mention that I've got my art journals just next to me that I'm going to um, roll off my, I'll find, you know, pages that aren't painted yet and I'm just going to bray off the paint onto a sheet so that I'm not wasting any paint. So I've got a couple of journals here over to the side that I'm going to do that too. So I'm just going to do that and not waste the paint. So one thing I will mention is that when I am using these paints um, this little protective cover in here, because the paints are so sticky when they dry off, that sticks to this, the ridge of the, the paint pot, and then it tears and breaks, and you really want that to stay inside your lid, because it, um, it helps seal the, the air out. So what I do after I've finished now, is I wipe the top, you know, get all as much paint as you as you can off the edge ridge and sort of scoop the paint down inside rather than leaving it all up you know up near the top and that way they come off really nicely I'll show you what I mean I think this one um, I had trouble with see it's all torn um, just because it would not um, come off the the edge of the ridge with the paint that's dried near the top so Try and get into the habit of um, wiping it down off the very top and you won't have that problem. So, let's get started. I've got Dazzlers in some selected colours here. Um, I've got Gummy Berry Blue, Sour Apple Dreamsicle, Pucker Up Pink and Licorice Stick. Um, I've just chosen a few that I'm going to be happy with um, the colours in whatever I do and I've got some textures here in um, some other lovely colours. Till Me, No Lies, Artichoked, Gritty Graphite and Patina and uh, I will just swap between the two. I might even mix some. I tend not to clean off my jelly plate. I print until it's nearly gone and then I add the next colour and what's left on the plate lifts up in tiny little patches and creates a really grungy look so I don't clean my plate at all unless I make a mess I don't clean it at all until the very end when I'm putting it away and I've finished printing so okay last time I'm going to say this let's get started <laughs> I 
I will just mention that once um, when I did tear this I just laid some packing tape on the back of it to hold it all back together again and cut around it with scissors and uh, left this side you know that was touching the paint alone but uh, that's what I did to this this one because um, it tore up and and I really didn't want to lose it so I'm just spreading this around that was probably a little bit too much paint but um, we'll see because it's such a smooth paint you can um, spread it quite thin and it um, creates a really transparent look so I've just cleaned, cleaned that off onto my page I haven't wasted any paint it's all come off off my brayer I didn't wipe that at all I just ran that over there like that and job's done. I've got a really pretty background there and I can either add another colour on top of that but uh, that's pretty enough and shimmery enough, it's really pearlised, um, to leave dry by itself and I'll flip the page and I'll do that again with the next colour. Thank you. 